guys welcome back to my channel for another video um, this is Antonisha Lachey if you guys are new to my channel I do make a lot of videos about planners and planning and time management organization things like that um, if you are not new to my channel welcome back um, if you are not subscribed to the channel definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button below and hit the bell next to it so you can be notified anytime I post any new videos so today's video is going to be the long-awaited walkthrough of my big Happy Planner, Franken Planner, GTD Planner, all of those things. So this is the big Happiness Blooms um, Happy Planner that just started, well, yeah, I can say just started in July because when you guys see this, it will technically be July. Um, I'm filming this a couple days before the end of June, so it's not quite July for me just yet. But I have taken a lot of time, a lot of thought to put this thing together. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and get through it. You guys know I am very long winded. My videos get long and I'm probably going to talk a little bit too much about certain sections when I'm in there. So I don't want to do too much in this intro. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I will say this thing is, as you can see, ridiculously chunky. I have the metal um, expander disc from Mambi on here. Um, and they're doing okay. The only reason why it seems to be struggling a little bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip to the back, is because of my pocket folder. I do have a lot of stuff in here. Um, so I'm getting ready to slide this out, but I do have like my pregnancy tracker from So Much Crafting. I had these in um, a personal size ring bound planner that I was using as my wallet. I don't use it anymore. I use a pocket. As my wallet now and so I kind of don't have a place to put these where they're going to be visible when I remember to do it as you can see I'm behind on it because I am 21 weeks today that I'm filming this video um, so I just kind of keep these in here for now I also keep my carpe diem um, clear label stickers which is what I use to label all of my um, all of my tabs and dividers and then just a bunch of other stuff like the stickers that come with the undated planners I have quite a few extension packs in here and then in the back I just keep some oops, some paperwork that I need I have jury duty coming up next week and a few other things so I'm just gonna take that out and move it because that is the main cause of the bulging so as you can see now it's still a chunky planner but it doesn't have that extra bulge in the back anymore so the first thing you see when you open it up, I have a table of contents because I'm still getting used to this setup. So I want to make sure I remember where everything is and what I put under each section so I'm not flipping through because there's a lot of stuff in here and I'd be flipping forever. So I'm going to take this out because I'm going to use this as a reference as I'm going through because a lot of these sections, um, they are set up but they don't have anything in them just yet or they don't have everything that's going to go in them. So I'm going to use that as a reference as I'm going through here. So my very first section is my inbox section. The um, Carpe Diem label stickers did not have anything that said inbox. So I just put ideas because that's basically what gets captured here is ideas. Um, I have the, again, I've shown these before. I had the colorful ones and I took them out. I just got two sets of the different clear um, dashboards for the classic size happy planner. So I have these in here. Um, and on the, I just keep post-it notes. I haven't finished the rest of my post-it notes. And then back here, I just have some quotes that were kind of inspiring to me. And um, I may end up doing a video or a blog post or just using it for something. So I just kept them here. Then I have this little thing. This came with an undated planner. And I just have a couple of the post-its that came on there. I keep some of my own post-it flags and just different things attached to it. And in here, I just keep various different types of... Um, blank paper for brain dumping. These are from the IQ360 brand. I have two ginormous pads of these. So I just have felt no need to buy the recollections ones. I know they're pretty and cute and everything, but I use these. You'll see when I get to my weekly pages, I use these and then I toss them when I'm done. So I don't need to buy any more until I use up all the rest. These were from like a pocket size ARC notebook that I had. This is literally the last one that I have, but I just keep notes. I just brain dump in here. These are also from the ARC Junior, the Junior ARC size planner. And then I have the Mambi brain dump sheets that came in the notes pack. And then I have this. If you saw my, um, 
I forgot what video. Oh, you know what? I took it down. It was my quarterly review when I was talking about my business brain or my my brain dump. I use the online business brain dump incompletion triggers list. This is from Alexis Miss Trenchcoat from strangeandcharm.com. She has it in her Strange and Charm shop. I will link it below um, because I linked it below that video and then I have since taken that video down. But um, I use this for my business brain dump it is amazing because she's an online business owner so she has a lot of the same business needs that i do i also mentioned in that video that i was trying to figure out what i wanted to do for my personal brain dump i used to use the list from vienna ortiz plans but um my life is so much different than hers and there were some things that i felt that were missing off of her list and i would therefore forget about it when i was brain dumping um so i wanted to find a more comprehensive list and maybe put together my own but I found this one from, her name is Mara Thomas, M-A-U-R-A -A, Thomas. Um, and this used to be her website, regainyourtime.com, but it's actually marathomas.com. And I found this somewhere else, but it belongs to her. And she has this for personal and business, and it's like two pages. But this is a very, very comprehensive brain dump list um, for personal and like I said, the business one is just as comprehensive. I didn't need the business one um, because her business one is geared towards um, like someone that works in a company and has like team members and employees and things like that. So again, this online one is this online business trigger list is better for me, but this personal one is amazing. And there were things on here. I again, I didn't even think to think about, but I needed to think about. So this is really good. I'll link this below as well. Um, my next section, um, my top tabs are basically my main sections, except for one top tab I have as a today tab, but my top tabs are my main sections. And then the side dividers, um, are the kind of the subsections within there. I have the eight divider pack, the life is lovely dividers for the big happy planner. And then things like, um, budget of course had its own divider that came with it. So my first section is my home section. And the first thing I have is the budget extension pack. So I have the again the divider that came with it I just have the stickers here I have not set up our budget for July yet um, again it's still a couple days until July and I need to wait till the very end of the month to see what some of my business income is going to be what I earned this month that I'll be getting paid out next month so I'm just waiting so I have the stickers here the savings goal I know I'm going to repurpose this but I don't know what for yet so I'm just leaving it alone and then for this month at a glance because it's not attached to a specific month this is where I'm going to put our bills like what they are every single month so this will be my frame of reference every time I do um, our budgeting section and our um, I said it before in another video but we decided to stay in the apartment that we're in now we're not going to be moving um, and when our lease is up at the end of August and we sign a new lease our rent is going to go up by $30 so um, I'm not necessarily waiting to do that, but I kind of am because we're cutting cable and getting um, streaming TV and a whole bunch of other stuff. So a lot of our things are changing because we're staying here. So I'm waiting on that. And then this is for July. I just have some of the stickers that I use from the monthly kits. If you saw my monthly plan with me is in my big and my mini. There are some payday and bill due stickers here and some icons. So I just kind of stuck them in here. So when I do set up July, and then I have a post-it note of some things that we need to budget for in July. But again, I haven't set it up at all. There are many flip throughs on this, um, this budget extension pack. And then I have, um, what I got was I got the two different sets of these clear dividers for the classic I'm not dividers the clear dashboards so one was gold foiled and one was silver foiled and then I got the bookmarks as well I actually found this on Amazon and it was a bundle that they had on Amazon so it came with both sets of the dashboards and then a set of the dividers I guess not dividers what are these things called bookmarks the bookmarks so there's three bookmarks and then three of each of the um dashboards so for this bookmark i use it as expenses because within the month this is where i'm going to be coming to pretty much every day and logging our expenses so i just have this here so it's easy for me to find and the next section in my home section is this chores this is where i will have my control journal my fly lady control journal um this is what it looked like when i had it in my half letter kind of disbound system 
um, so I need to just reprint it on full paper. I was just holding on to it because again, if we had moved and our spaces were different, our rooms were different, I would have had to redo it. I know our daily routines are going to be completely different, so I'll be doing a video on my control journal once I get it set up. So I just need to kind of retype all of these things and reevaluate our daily routines and our weekly routines and things like that. But that's what's going to be going in here. And then the next section is school. Um, so here I have, I'm not going to flip this. This is CJ's school schedule for the upcoming school year. Um, I already have all these dates in my Google Calendar, but I just keep it here just if I want a quick reference. And then I have a piece of note paper. I'm going to start some toddler preschooling at home with Grayson. Um, so any information that I have for that will be in here. Like if there's just a printable, a coloring page, something that I want him to work on. Um, basically this is becoming my, my home binder, my work binder, my planner is becoming everything. So I don't want to have extra folders and stuff, extra binders around for anything else. Everything is in here. And then I just have some note paper in here. So again, if I want to take notes on some toddler schooling things, um, for, Grayson, I don't really see myself taking notes on CJ school stuff. Something will probably just come home as a flyer. And if I need to hold on to it, then I'll just punch it and put it in here. And then my last section in here is recipes. Um, and I don't have anything in here. What I was planning on doing, um, I told you, I mentioned before, I'm planning on getting the recipe extension pack. Um, not extension pack, the recipe planner, the Manby recipe planner at some point in time. Um, but in the meantime, I have a lot of printouts of recipes um, that I just have in a big stack um, so I'm going to go through and start using them in here and what I plan on doing is very similar to what at home Wikita does she has her recipe planner but what she does is the recipe she plans on making for the week she will pull them out of her recipe planner and put them in her main catch-all planner and that's what I plan on doing too I actually have an old classic size happy planner um, that I used years ago and I just stuck a couple pages in here just to be sure it's not gonna like bug the crap out of me that the pages are different sizes because of course the recipe planner is classic size um, and it doesn't bother me at all because it'll only be like a week's worth of recipes so whatever recipes I'm working on for the week um, I'll have them in here and because we order our groceries now and pick them up instead of going to the grocery store it makes it a whole lot easier to have those recipes in here so I can pull the items that I need um, for my grocery list when I go to order my groceries. So the next section is my planning section. Um, and here I just have, um, this is like my weekly um, review, my monthly, mid-month review, quarterly, yearly. So all of my planner review processes. Um, and as you can see, they're all marked on. I'm reworking these now. And same thing is with my control journal. I'm just gonna retype these in the right size, put them up here. And then these were some sample um, daily sheets that I had and I just put them up here in case I need to pull one um, and I don't necessarily want to use one of my daily pages. I have the Mambi daily pages in my mini planner. Um, I really only have those for when I'm going out and I need to kind of keep track of things. Um, so if I want to use one, I will. If not, they're just here. And then this gets into my actual planner. I didn't put an actual divider tab here because my planner has tabs so I didn't need it so this was my three month goal refresh and my quarterly um, momentum planner again I did the video but then I ended up having to take it down and then we get started with the happiness blooms planner I have not put my name on it I don't think I will because this is not the first page you, page you see when you open it up so I don't really care that my name's not on it um, yearly overview and then right in between, I still haven't decided if I'm going to use this currently page. I do use the currently page in my mini self-care planner. Um, but in between the currently page and the monthly um, divider, I have my monthly momentum planner. And I reference this every single week. So when I go to plan the next week, I have um, weekly objectives and projects that I want to work on. And this is what I use to move to the following week. So this is the month of July. I did a plan with me. Um, for this it is up on my channel if you are interested in seeing it and then this is this week and then I just have one of these um, bookmarks and I put today on it and then I also have this is what I use those little IQ 360 lists I can I make lists in my brain dump section but like today there's a lot of things that I wanted to do some things were from a couple days ago um, 
And so what I do is I sit down first thing in the morning and I will make a list of everything I want to do that day in the order that I want to do them. So because of this, I'm actually reconsidering some things with my planner already. So you guys know if you've seen my videos, I use these passion planner um, pages to pre-plan my week. So I have one of these slotted into every week so the minute I know a to-do that comes up I normally don't put the appointments and stuff on here until I'm doing my weekly planning because I have that stuff on my Google Calendar but the minute I have a, a task or something that comes up or just a note about something I will put it in there but I already have them slotted in for the entire month but what I am thinking and what I'm having an issue with is I love the Big Happy Planner, I love the space, but what I tend to do when I plan out my week, a lot of times I'm not thinking about the little itty bitty stuff that still takes up time. Like I'm not thinking about my household cleaning unless it's a big like vacuuming the whole house, cleaning the whole kitchen or putting up all the laundry. That takes a good bit of time and it, it may be something that jumps in my mind that hey I need to do this thing. Um, but just little stuff like the loading and unloading of the dishwasher or maybe I need to prep some food for like cut up some fruit and vegetables or wash them or whatever. I don't think about those little things when I'm planning out the entire week. So I don't know if once I start getting back into my zone cleaning and my daily routines, if that's going to help. But what I've been really longing for is I keep feeling like I want an hourly planner um, so that I can really break things down and I can basically do the same thing that I do here. Like I put the appointments that I have and then I put what time Alan goes to work and then I try to slot everything else around it and that's kind of how I plan um, here was Alan's day off but here he goes to work he went to work at 2 o'clock on Tuesday and CJ had a doctor's appointment at 1045 in the morning so I just put my video went live at 8 a.m. CJ had a doctor's appointment I know for this big chunk of time we weren't going to be doing anything we were just going to be hanging out as a family after the doctor's appointment until Alan went to work and then I knew that I would get my stuff done after Alan went to work and then I had um, an Instagram live that I was watching so I kind of do morning, evening, or morning, afternoon, evening anyway, but again, those little things don't get slotted in and I can't figure out what I want to do with this because part of me, I really love this. I'm really happy with, you know, all the decorating and stuff. It's a really fun creative outlet for me, but it's still functional. So I don't want to like take up like some of the decor just to put an entirely, like another to-do list just to put all those little things in. And a lot of times, again, those little things just don't pop in my head when I'm doing my weekly planning, um, which is why I always end up with a sheet like this first thing in the morning. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I printed these out like for next week. So maybe I would attach it to my happy planner. Um, but then of course I wouldn't be able to use these. And so it's like, I don't know what I wanna do. The other option I'm thinking is continue planning my week like I normally do, being able to do my decorating and stuff like that. And same thing that I'm doing now, I put the big things that I know I need to do each day. And then I can just, instead of printing this out like this, where I'm printing it one-sided, I can print it double-sided like I always do and just every morning sit down and plan out my day by the hour. So that's what I'm kind of struggling with right now, but I know I need an hourly planner to keep me on track um, because I'm kind of getting overwhelmed now. And if you watch my social media plan with me, then you will know all the different aspects of my business that are going to be coming into play. And we're getting closer and closer and closer to the baby coming here. So I really need to get that together somehow. So that's what I need to figure out. Um, at the end of every month, I have this month in review from the She Boss Planner, but I'm actually gonna be replacing this with the monthly reflections that are in the back of the Passion Planner um, that are at the end of every month because they're just a little bit more comprehensive than this. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And then I have my monthly momentum planner for the next month. So I have August and September in here as well. I keep a quarter at a time, but I only keep the monthlies in here. I don't have the weekly pages for August or September. So, my next section is my list section. Um, again, like I said, this is a very GTD type planner. So it's my list section. So right here, I have an agenda for Alan. Um, so anything that we need to talk about because of his schedule being so crazy and the way we kind of cross paths, 
we we kind of have to plan time to sit down and talk about big things so we kind of almost have like a, a weekly family meeting and i'll keep a list of things that i want to talk to him about normally i will just put it on the post-it so i can just keep this page but i can write on it too um, I keep an agenda for my live coaching calls for my coaching class. Um, so every time we have a live coaching call, it's kind of an open Q&A. So as I'm going through a module, I will write down questions that I have that I want to ask the trainer when I'm live on the call. And this module already went through, so I'll start taking down questions I have for the next module. I have a waiting for list, which I'm not waiting on anything right now. And then I have my someday maybe list. And then I just have more pages for other lists that I may want to add. So this next section is my work section. And this is by far the biggest section um, that's in here. So I just have a couple post-it notes for ideas of things that I want to do or look into. Um, and I just haven't transferred them into the right area. So this tab that has the hearts, this is for my beautiful you life coaching course and it has the hearts because the course is considered a heart-centered coaching course um, and so the hearts were fitting so in here I've shown this stuff before I just keep all of the printouts of the information we got when we first enrolled and then I just keep notes um, for again the interviews that I listen to our live coaching calls um, and different things like that and then I just keep a another one of the bookmarks and it takes me to the current notes page um, for when I want to take notes. My next section with um, the dollar signs, this is for my direct sales business that I am starting. Um, oops, I put this in the wrong place. Um, so <laughs> this is for my direct sales business that I'm starting. So I keep notes in here for, um, I, well, I don't have any notes in here right now, but this will be where my training notes and just notes on anything in particular. If there's a, a specific type of program or um, my VIP group that I want to start, just different things like that will be in here for my life coach, not my life coaching, for my direct sales business. This field notes section, this is where I, I won't even open this section. Um, they didn't have anything that said coaching or anything. This is where I keep notes for my coaching clients that I'm working with. Um, I have one coaching client right now, which is my coaching buddy in my course. Um, so it has a lot of her personal information in here and goals that she set or whatever. So I just keep those notes in here and then I just keep additional note paper. These are the old ARC ones that I had and then some of the note paper from the Mambi note section. So I have a lot of just note paper in here. Um, I will be, once I finish up, probably about two or three weeks um, when I finish up the modules that we're doing, I will be free to start taking pro bono clients to get more practice. So I have a lot of notes for when I'm preparing to do that. This like a boss section, um, this is my kind of general business section. So this is like not notes from coaching clients or notes from my course or any kind of training or anything because that's what I'm going to do with this this beautiful you section once I'm done with the course um, any notes that I don't need to kind of reference uh, this will also be my section where anytime I do any kind of training I watch a webinar or anything like that I can just put notes for it in there this like a boss section this is my actual kind of get it done section for my business so these are ideas for things that I actually want to do um, in my business. I've shared this. I have a list of things that I need to do when I set up my business as I'm taking notes throughout my course. These are things that I need to do, um, contracts that I need to make, scripts and guidelines, all that jazz, and just notes. And that's where this was supposed to be. This is some notes for the group coaching program that I will be launching. And then I just keep just checklist sheets and I'll probably put more note sheets in here as I need them. And then this is my um, YouTube social media marketing section. I just use the cameras. And so in here I have, this is an old page I had of YouTube and blog, um, like things to do, not video ideas or anything like that, but like affiliate programs I wanted to look into, um, when I wanna put up blog posts, when I wanna put up videos. This was an outline of a video I was going to do. I'm still going to do an update on my coaching journey, but I'm not doing it module by module. But this is a list of all the video ideas. So I have them. I have reoccurring or series that I want to do, hashtags and kind of theme days. And then these are just all the 
single individual videos that I want to do. So I have space to add more and then I have just some note paper in here for whatever. And then this goes straight into my editorial calendar. So this is June. I just wrote things in as I put videos up because I didn't have a, an editorial calendar or a plan. Um, for July, this morning as of me filming this video, this July plan with me went up. So you will have seen this editorial calendar if you watch that video. And this is where I use the trendsetter. So I have my goals and all of that other jazz. And for my daily to do's, in case you haven't seen that video, I just put each video that I am going to do and then just make a checklist of where I am because I batch film and I batch edit and things like that. So just to make sure I'm on track and I know what stage I am in with each video and then the notes pages. And then I have the same thing in for August and September. So I've already marked the places where I want to put videos. Some of them I have figured out, some of them I don't. Um, and then just the rest of this. And then my very last section is my project section. And this is some notes from my family history research that I've been doing for, God, what, 20 years now. And so it's just, this is a big project that I need to kind of get back into and make time for. So I have that. Um, this is my project list. Um, this will basically be like my master project list. Um, and what I will do with this is I will have them all listed here and I will probably make a project sheet for them. So because normally when I think of a project, I kind of already start thinking about ideas and steps and stuff that I want to do. So I will start planning them out here on these Mambi uh, project sheets or Happy Planner project sheets. And then once those projects are actually like active projects, they will move behind these dividers. You guys, if you follow me for a while, you know I've used these number dividers in my project section before. And this is where I will take this project sheet and maybe some note paper. So I will have all of my project notes and then any any additional um, like project support material. So I should only have at most five active projects in here. And then on this page, I'll just write a number next to it to let me know where these things are so I can easily see what my active projects are. Um, so some of these are gonna be kind of long-term. Like we have, like these are the ones that I need to start planning now. I have videos that I'm gonna do on some of these. So my kind of, I had a full home office set up when we were planning on moving, but since we're staying here, my home office is gonna be in our bedroom. So I need to tweak that some. We're not moving, but we have a whole bunch of home projects that we need to do to make this apartment work. I will be doing a project plan with me on that. Um, I'm gonna be doing a back to school project plan with me as part of my back to school series and then um, baby prep and then eventually like Christmas planning and my Christmas planning printables and stuff, all of that stuff will be in here as well. And then these dividers are the ones, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've had them in various disbound notebooks, but these are from, these are ARC brand. And this is the reason why I put my projects section to the back because these dividers stick out further than the happy planner tabs and I didn't want to cover them up. So I put these all in the back. There's nothing in any of them because I haven't planned out any of the projects. So that is it for my big GTD Franken Planner Happy Planner. If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And let me know if there again if there are any video ideas that you guys would like to see or anything like that leave them in the comment section below be sure to give this video a thumbs up um, if you enjoy seeing walkthroughs of my planners and i will see you guys in the next one